Hi guys, so today I'm gonna to show you how to tie the blue red tag. It's the fifth fly in the book. And this is a really great summer trout fly. Lots of colors and it's really, really good, particularly when the water is a bit colored. This was actually shown to me by an Irish angler when we were fishing in the World Championships in France. So again, we've got a size 14 jig hook with a silver slotted tungsten bead. Again, other hooks and beads will do the job. This is just what we are using today. So we've secured the bead in and we're going to snip off the excess very slowly. Then we are going to find the floss, which as per usual is our trusty orange glow bright number five or similar. And we're going to double it over and double it over again and tie it in after doubling it over again. So that should be doubled over three times. So we're going to secure that in and tie down to where the hook starts to bend and then snip off the tag in line with the hook there. We don't like tags that are too long. So then the body is made of angel hair. This is a sort of bluey, purpley color. And to turn this into a dubbing, what we do is we take it out and we just tear it apart because the fibers of this are quite long. So you need to shorten them a bit and then it becomes a dubbing. And we'll dub it onto the thread. Again, no wax, really doesn't need it with this but you'll see that we're dubbing it like that so that there's a taper formed before it even goes onto the hook. So we're going from nice and thin up to thicker. And at the top here, we're going to slightly overdub, not that much, but slightly, so that we can pull out the fibers with some Velcro makes it really, really nice and kind of flashy and buggy and gives it some movement and yeah, looks good. So I like to brush it back before I brush it over. Um, you don't want the fibers to be too long though, so just pull them down a bit and so they're not too long. Again, we're gonna put a CDC hackle in here with my lazy way of doing it. So snip off the tip, tie it in, put a couple of turns in, secure it, and snip it off. And just pull back the fibers and tie them in and it will push them back. So then we're going to get some hens 46 or equivalent peacock dubbing. And we're going to tighten the thorax there. We don't need too much. We'll only slightly overdub it and then pull out some of the fibers there. You really do have to put dubbing in behind the bead when you're using a CDC feather with this method because Otherwise you've got a very visible bit of stalk there. So then we've just pulled out some of the fibers and we're gonna whip finish. And there we go. The blue red tag, really great pattern. I particularly like to use it in the summer. So yeah, thanks for watching. Like, comment and uh, yeah, subscribe. Thanks very much.